chest is where you are or the place you've been on it and it squashes the coin up to have an arm implant like a contraceptive one just here and I've just had it redone so there's a bit of a scar number three I'm an Aquarius number four the size of my feet Fat sugar puffs are my favourite series. Number six. I have two sisters and two brothers. Number seven. I am hardly dyslexic. Number eight. I hate odd numbers. Number nine. I have been in my current relationship for two years and a half. Number ten. I have fallen arches in my feet, which means this, oh, I've got a bit of one now, but this bit never used to be curved. It used to just be like a flat foot. If you get one. Number 11. I'm obsessed with like, keeping memorabilia like tickets and cinema sort of things and cards, wrapping paper sometimes, the tags you get on your gifts, things like that. I'll open a clip now and show you how crazy it is. the time. I don't like routines. So I'm in a routine because I travel all the time. But I don't like routines the same. Maybe you've got one in a relationship where um, you did something the same every day. I don't like things like that. I just like things to change and not stay the same. I don't know. It's hard to explain that. If you get into a routine of like, you know some people brush their teeth and go to bed. I couldn't do that every day. I'd have to switch it up at 13. I like the smell of hospitals and dentists. 14. I prefer the cold weather to the hot weather purely because of what you wear and stuff and I don't like being too hot anyway, I'd much prefer to be too cold. <laughs> I'd much prefer to be too cold, yeah. Number 15. I'm scared of the dark. Number 16. My favourite movie in the whole entire world is Finding Nemo. 17. I have arthritis in my knees. Number 18. I want to have um, children after I'm married so I want to get married for number 90. Italian food is my favourite food. Number 20. Eight. Number 21. I hate snoring or any kind of repetitive noise like a ticking clock or anything. It makes me actually angry. It's rare that I get vigorously angry, but it makes me want to tear my hair out seriously. I can't even. Number oh. 22. My favourite animal is a giraffe. I've had this satchel teddy since I was about to decay. It's called giraffe. Creative like his mum. I don't know, my second favourite animal is a penguin and my favourite thing. Number 23, I'm kind of a feminist. Number 24, I hate it when restaurants put a lemon in your coke without asking you. I can't stand lemon. And it's just like, my coke now tastes like a lemon. Just ask me, I could be allergic to lemons. But just, number 25, I have a bulb patch in my eyebrow. But you can't see because of the mint, I'll show you one day. Number 26, I want to move out of home more than anything in the world right now. Number 27, I can't survive the day without a cup of coffee. And I have drank out of it, let's do Number 28, my dream job would be a designer, um, mostly an interior designer because I can vision like what I want in a room like that. Um, but I know I don't have the skills or the grades or anything to be able to do that. Number 29, the first time I stepped on a snail, I made my mum pick it up with a piece of cardboard and bury it. I felt so terrible. I still do. Number 30, I hated school. Number 31, I loved college. Number 32, my favourite book is Elephants Don't Sell Cars. I've got so much memories of that book with my mum when I was younger. Number 33, I'm the lightest sleep I've ever met in the world. I think my mum's quite light as well. But anything will wake me up, like fidget, it'll wake me up. You can speak in your sleep, like Josh does, it'll wake me up. Number 34, I can't control crying. Number 35, I have a habit of biting my cheeks. Mainly when I'm nervous, I go and just bite the inside of them, so I'm going to do it like this. Number 36, I get majorly excited over the tiniest thing. It could be like, I just got a free sample or something randomly, or someone said they liked my top. I just get ecstatic, it would make my day. Number 37, garlic is my favourite herb. Number 38, I can't swim. Number 39, I like walking. Number 40, I have long legs. 
for a short person because I am 5'2 so it's quite short. My legs are longer than they should be. In proportion with 41, I can't stop cutting my hair. Sorry, that's it. Number 42. When I panic, I let go of things. That's why I would be terrified of learning how to drive because I let go of the steering wheel. So if like necklaces tangled up, I just put it down or can't do something on the computer, it messes up, just let go, walk away. Probably why I can't swim because I just let go. <laughs> Number 43. I hate phone calls more than anything. I just I, I just don't like them. I'm much rather taste you. I don't care if we text them for years. It's not just from unknown people, it's from anyone in my family, my boyfriend. I don't like I'll pick it up most of the time now because I've got better with it, but and it might be an emergency, but it's just the fact, I just don't like it, it's one thing that I've always never liked. I will ignore my phone sometimes, not because I'm being rude, I just don't want to talk on the phone and I hardly ever ring anyone, so I feel the need to ring. Number 44, I am majorly clumsy. Number 45, I cannot for the life of me sleep with my hair down. Number 46, I have a mum, a dad, a stepmom and a stepdad. Number 47, I draw portraits much better than I draw anything else. Um, I don't do it as a like sort of realistic picture of them, I'll do it quite animated in where you live. Number 48, I shaved my head when I was about 15, 16 or 17, around about then, I was in college, um, myself at the side, but I didn't do it so I had a bit of hair show and I did it bold. Number 49, I've never been on a plane. Number 50, I feel bad for the tiniest things, I can't, I always have to explain myself if I feel like I've offended someone and half the time they don't give a shit and you just set their life up, but in your head you've offended them, I don't know, it's just a bit weird, hopefully this gets you to know me a little better, as the first one was slightly quiet, was it not? Um, I'll see you soon, bye bye, thank you for watching.